Hey, Sarah. I'm getting too used to this. How long? Weeks. Relax. You haven't missed much. The Ark and the Sleepers, they're safe in the Sphere? You better like where we parked, because it's home now. The Sleepers wake to an amazing view. We did it, Dad. What about your implant and Sam? I am once again helping the Pathfinder activate Remnant. Our connection has been restored to normal. Normal? You need him again? I'll take the help. I was turning my brain inside out. That is exceptionally inaccurate. Well, it felt like it, didn't it, Sarah? The Nexus leaders are waiting, Pathfinder. Duty calls. Better not keep them waiting. It never ends. Go on. I need some rest. The decision isn't yours. Neither is it yours. That is the point, isn't it? Pathfinder, you're late. Save the cluster straight back to work. I get it. It must seem like that, but this wouldn't be possible without you. As outposts become colonies, the cluster needs its own voice. A true council. And while I maintain that it is premature, we must nominate an interim ambassador to represent concerns outside the Nexus. Or rather, you must nominate someone. Interim ambassador? To what and for who? To the Nexus. The eventual goal was always a galactic council, but Meridian has... accelerated concerns. An Ark has landed. The vaults may make outposts self-sufficient, and we can't claim to represent a sovereign Angara. An interim ambassador would represent concerns outside the Nexus, until elections when we can all step aside. At the appropriate time. I can handle a hot potato, but why throw it to me in the first place? Because we need it to be legitimate. We can't impose a vote on the Angara. Or even Kadara. Eladin? <laughs> Won't happen. But you've acted for everyone. If you endorse a name, some may disagree, but they will trust it as a starting point. Someone to speak for Helios. I put forward Pathfinder Reka. I'd suggest you, but someone might think you killed the Archon to elevate yourself. We can't allow the appearance of that. But Reka keeps the position and timeline in the Nexus family. It feels like the original intent was to give that voice to the outposts. August Bradley's a proven leader. On a considerably smaller scale. He's kept Eos relatively stable, despite no militia presence. This representative should be one of the people actually doing the work. First outpost, first ambassador. Bradley's my choice. Safe enough. Nothing disruptive from Meridian's opening day. Something by the book for once. Sarah is feeling better. Good. This decision, the policy and protocol, that's not what your victory was about. There's more to life than this. All's quiet. Scott, kept a seat for you. In your planet, that's not getting less weird. About time Meridian got a proper grand opening. We all need this. Heard Sarah woke up. How's she doing? She'd be angry if I said anything but great. Which means... Great. Stubborn as hell. I hear it runs in the family. Hey, know who I just talked to? A second wave technician, fresh out of cryo. Just had his first sunrise in Andromeda. He couldn't stop crying. Just him? <laughs> uh, must be something going around. Maybe you're the carrier. It's really feeling like home, you know? Finally. They haven't given you five minutes alone since the fight. Have you had a chance to let it sink in? Sometimes I just stare out the window, thinking, we did it. It's hard to believe. I feel you. Just... ground under our feet, knowing it's ours. I can't wait for more people to wake up. Enjoy it, Pathfinder Rider. Tomorrow, we're back on the job. Oh, uh, kid. Sorry, Rider. 
My name. You're using it, thank you. Hey, I'm old, but I can remember things most of the time. This place is something else. We can finally start doing what we were supposed to do when we first got here. Explore. Speaking of that, I sent out what's left of the MacMore scouts. Nearly drowned me in reports until I pointed them at Tan. Told him to be extra wordy just for him. He'll love that. He wanted the job, he can have the reports. It's not over, you know. There'll be more Ket and whatever else is waiting out there. I know, right? It's going to be so much fun. <laughs> Ryder, you're right, it'll be fun. Ryder, enjoying the fruits of your labor? You deserve it. Thanks, Callow. The Tempest is getting some much-needed service. I thought I'd leave them to it. But I wouldn't miss the big day. Meridian looks so different out of the cockpit. I think I understand better why you do what you do. Thinking of trading in your pilot's chair for some muddy boots? Not even slightly. I know what I'm good for. I don't pretend to understand everything, but Meridian must have opened a lot of doors. Not all of them safe. I want you to know that it'll be my privilege to keep flying you to them. It means a lot that you want to stick with us, Callow. Of course. And keeping my ship is a plus. I've learned a lot from you, Ryder. And Gil. Though, please don't tell him that. Things will change now. But that's all right. Nothing's ever really lost. I'll be ready when you are. <laughs> so this is how you all party, hmm? <laughs> Pretty tame, but don't tell the host I said that. Meridian is amazing, though. You... Accomplished the inconceivable. I'm grateful to be part of it. No, I'm grateful. I couldn't have asked for a better team. We created this together. And exactly what it is, what it may become, <laughs> I can't even imagine. To think that when we met, the Angara and your initiative struggled to find trust. The way we arrived on Aya was over the top. You know, uninvited and on fire. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Guess it worked out okay. <sighs> Ryder, the Angara will never forget how you saved the Moshai. But more than that, we'll never forget how you fought the Ket beside us. How we destroyed the Archon. Meridian is a new beginning for your people and mine. Together. It's like a fairy tale. Do you have those? Where everyone walks off into the sunset holding hands? At a time like this, I... I, I think it's strange that you can't resist making a joke. I can't, so? <clears throat> Jal... Our people... Actually, no, I can't. Hmm. Actually, I kind of like it. Are we staying? Heading out? Hmm? Whatever you need. Meridian, huh? I see it every day, and I'm still amazed. We're really starting to put down roots. It's wonderful. Did I tell you? The team's working with the Angara to set up a joint research body. That sounds exciting. I know. I can't wait. Us helping them, them helping us. Can you imagine what we could accomplish? Ugh, I'm getting all misty just thinking about it. Joint research body cooperation with the Angara? You're planning a party, right? Of course. Nothing builds a team like a good whiskey and a laugh. You'd better show up, Ryder. We wouldn't be here if not for you. <laughs> I wouldn't miss it for the world. This place is incredible. I really want to delve into its inner workings, but we haven't got clearance yet. I think they're afraid us mucking around might cause Meridian to drop out of the sky or something. Ready when you we'll are. We'll find them. 
So Tan says he's gonna let me stick around and help with the... Hey, Ryder. What's the word on the street? Ryder saves the day, Pathfinder of the Century. You know, the usual. Still? Get used to it. They're gonna name things after you when you die. And probably even before. So we heading out again soon? Oh, she's all grown up, leaving home, doesn't need me anymore. <laughs> That'll be the day. We'll handle my deals on this end while I'm gone. Seeing you two in cahoots <laughs> makes me all misty. You know this is your fault, right? Helping us along? Helis has really turned into the fresh start I wanted. In so many ways. And now with Meridian, we're really going to make this place ours. I can't wait. You know where to find me when you're ready. Ready to go whenever you are, Ryder. Till then, I'll just enjoy the view. Still standing? Still standing. Then I did my job. Somehow. Nothing more need be said. I'll remember that the next time you chew me out for getting hurt. So will I, Ryder. So will I. Pathfinder. Hey, Ryder. How's Sarah? Much better. There might be two Riders around soon, imagine. The Hyperion's forming scientific teams. Gotta start studying what we have. I may have helped them organize. It's what you do. Meridian won't know what hit it. And we should think about what's next. This is a new cradle for humanity. That's a big idea. Bigger than I'd imagined. So maybe building those teams was smart. Small steps to understand all this. Until we're at the top of the mountain. And seeing the next horizon. Can't deny it. I'm game for more. With so much power in our hands, you think it'll be okay? Cora, sometimes you just have to leap out there and see where it takes you. Yeah, I guess you do. Whatever happens, you gave everyone an incredible gift. Nice job, Pathfinder. Hey, Ryder. I didn't organize. Hey, Ryder. Jill is walking the walk. The procedure took. I'm gonna be a dad. Congratulations. I'm thinking Mary if it's a girl, Deanne if it's a boy. Mary, Deanne, Marie Deanne. Pretty cool, right? Jill might have something to say about that. Oh, right. Note to self. Bounce names off Jill. So, this is supposed to be a celebration, right? You getting used to any of this yet? Meridian? The dream becoming a reality? It's a lot to take in. I'm still in the pinching myself phase. Well, I'm sure everyone here would be happy to line up and give you a pinch. But, so you know, I've got the Tempest topped out and ready. You wanna blow this hot dog stand? Just say the word. Callow's out there somewhere, time one on. If we're really sneaky, he won't even notice we're gone. Who's flying, then? You? Why the hell not? I'm a quick study. How hard can it be? You better get this nonsense out of your system in the next nine months, you know. <laughs> Little Mary's gonna have a fun dad. The Tempest is calling. She wants to get going. I told her to sit tight. You're partying. Hiya. Well, hello. Hello yourself. Eyes front, try not to swoon. I want you... I want you more. I need proof. Soon. Well, let's get this show on the road. Meridian looks great, but, you know, been there, done that. Hey, this was a big accomplishment. It's important to enjoy it. Don't get me wrong. I'm proud of us. Helios is changing. And will be for a long time. I'm just antsy. Don't want to miss a thing. Oh! I almost forgot. Kalinda sent a congratulatory message. She was angling for an invitation, I think. Denied. Hope you didn't turn her back into an enemy. Oh, you're always so serious. Enjoy the moment. We're here to celebrate, remember? What am I gonna do with you, PB? I'll send you a list. For now, you're right. The galaxy isn't going anywhere. Let's have some fun. I want you to enjoy this. It's a big deal. 
I'm so proud to be with you. <clears throat> Making a quiet exit? Figured I'd leave before I teared up. No one needs to see that. I expect that honesty is part of what draws them to you. I tried to think of a way to honor what you did. Some protocol. There isn't one. Your father invented this rule. But you defined it. This is great and all, but it feels weird to be on a ship that isn't moving. We're explorers. There's more to see out there. Let's go find it.